G'day Squirts. Today I'm just going to take you through all the stuff that I'm going to be doing with the Warthog in the future. Such as the plating, the mechanics, the um, electronics, all this shit that I haven't done yet. So let's get into it. Well, there's a fair bit of stuff I've still got to do with the mechanics. I say mechanics, I don't have any terminology, I just refer to that as brakes and engine -y stuff. So what I've still got to do is tighten the chain on the four-wheel steering. It's really floppy. I've still got to connect the brakes. A little bit of an issue. You can see they're just flopping about, not doing anything. It still doesn't have an exhaust pipe. That's where it'll connect and I'll bring it down through there and out back. Should be good. Now as I've mentioned earlier, I don't really know anything about electronics and whatnot, but uh, I'll give it another shot. See here, the lovely startup system consisting of a duct tape switch and an ignition system with a wooden knob stuck on the end of it. And um, yeah, to start it up, you have to flick the switch, push the thing in really hard, and cup your hand over a pipe over there somewhere. So still gotta work on that, but it's going well. Basically gonna have some dim headlights mounted in here, like a natural water. Going to have a couple of large floodlights on the top here, probably some interior lighting coming down from under here, maybe some LEDs in the dashboard, and going to have a couple of tail lights right there. And no indicators, because that's a ridiculous idea. Now there's obviously still a lot of body work to do, so I'm gonna run you through all the stuff that is yet to be done. You can see there's this ridge that comes along over here. The ridge is gonna come around like that. Filling in this section here, which has some detailed you know, ridge indentation thingamajigs, flat custom hubcaps. For some of the more intricate details of the water, such as this section here and this section here, I've made up some molds and I'm gonna try and do a little bit of fiberglassing. I'm still gonna do the plating for the back here. There's an obvious lack of bonnet, so a rather large piece. I'm gonna hinge it at the front here so you can lift it up like that. Still gotta do the plating underneath it, like decking the engine and the undercarriage and stuff, and under here as well. Gonna redo this tail bar. I kind of just made a simple one to start with. I've still gotta fill in all these random ends of pipes, like here. I don't really know how to make a domed window, so I'm gonna cut up some perspex into these shapes. I've still gotta make a winch to put on the front of the thing, because it's a warthog, the winch is kind of iconic. If you didn't know, it's because of the tusks come out the front of the winch, the hooks. Yeah, I'm gonna paint the whole thing. Still a lot of work to do in the interior. Obviously, gonna do the walls here. Dashboard, there's a middle section. Comes up here with like an ammo compartment and stuff. Uh, the seats need new covers because they don't look cool enough. Steering wheel needs to be revamped a bit. Cup holders, which would be really nice. Means my friend John wouldn't have to leave Sprite cans lying around in my water all the time. Yes, I am going to have a turret on this thing. It's gonna be housed in the center here. 360 rotation. It will come up on an angle with two large gun shields and a fitting for whatever manner of weapon is going to be in there. As I've said, I don't really know what I'm doing, but if anyone has any suggestions on how I should do things, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. And if you like any of the features I've mentioned, let me know. Or if you have any ideas, just comment and I'll see what I can do. 